Welcome to La Coruña, a picturesque coastal city located in the northwest of Spain. In this video, I'll take you on a day trip to explore the fascinating history, breathtaking landscapes and top places to visit in this enchanting destination. But let's start with the basic. Is it La Coruña or A Coruña? Well, both names refer to the same city. The difference lies in the language. In Spanish, the city name is A Coruña, and this is the official name used in most contexts within Spain. The letter A is part of the city's name and is not an article. So both La Coruña and A Coruña are correct, but A Coruña is the original Spanish name. Now, let me tell you about the day trip that we completed. We started our trip from Vigo because we were visiting Vigo, which is a city I absolutely love. Go check out my video. But the train ride was about 30 or 40 minutes, I wanna say. Then once in A Coruña, we walked to Maria Pita Square. And this is what we saw in the walk over there. First impressions of A Coruña. The train station is not as pretty as Vigo and the outside area of the train station it's also not too pretty. I'm liking Vigo more so far. We're gonna see. Okay, things got definitely better after we crossed a big bridge. There were a bunch of parks and pieces of art along the way to the marina that is right next to Maria Pita Square. We didn't stay for long at the marina because it was so hot and we were very hungry. But this area is worth visiting so hopefully you can take your time here. Now, the Maria Pita Square was named after a local heroine who played a significant role in defeating the city against an English invasion in the 16th century. This is a very important landmark of the city. It's a cute place, however, kind of isolated for some reason when we visit it. And it looks very Spanish to me, nothing absolutely special. I feel like many cities in Spain have this type of squares. So. It was cool to visit, I think you have to go, but mm, maybe there are better squares in the country of Spain. Now, moving on, once you are in the old town, go off and explore it because it's really pretty and full of history. And you must stop at one of the restaurants that you find appealing for some mouth-watering food. And definitely try the pulpo a la gallega or Galician octopus. The on the house and it's mushrooms and shrimp and it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Giant mushroom, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. La Sinfoneria was one of the highlights of this trip. The food was, I mean, no words. Look at this food. It looks amazing, it was so good. The service was excellent, the music was so much fun, we had a great time. And let me tell you, Galicia is famous for its food due to its coastal location, which provides an abundance of fresh seafood and its rich culinary traditions that offer unique dishes like pulpo a la gallega and empanada gallega. The region emphasizes on locally sourced ingredients, vibrant food festivals and exceptional Albariño wine, which is white wine. All of these things contribute to the gastronomic reputation, making it a true culinary paradise in Spain. So wherever you go in Galicia, you're going to have top food. Enjoy it. Irish whiskey, baby. Did Irish you, coffee. Did you like? I love. Okay, we just had coffee. We are approaching the sea view part. It's really, really amazing. This part is better than Vigo. So I like the city structure and architecture and tranquility of Vigo and the people, but I really like this beach. You look over there, 
it looks really cool but then you look behind you it doesn't look amazing first line of buildings is not it's not pretty. I hope you can appreciate both my positive and not so positive comments. I'm just trying to be objective and not be like the YouTubers that only show you the magic of each place. Besides, this is just my personal opinion based on my likes. But let's move on, on to more good things about La Coruña. Now, if you're a beach lover or an adventurous soul, La Coruña offers fantastic surfing opportunities for you. If you simply love the beach like us, you're going to have an absolute amazing view of the ocean from here. It's really stunning. So Nick thinks this beach is nicer than Vigo's. It's bigger. It's bigger. But the beach part, the beach is thicker. Once we got to the beach, we decided to walk all the way to Tower of Hercules, which is a historic lighthouse and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its enduring presence has guided sailors for over two millennia, making it one of the oldest lighthouses still operating today. The walk over here was really pleasant, really nice, though it can get really hot and I didn't see any places to buy water from, so just come prepared and enjoy yourself. We went to this other absolute highlight of our day trip and it is Monte de San Pedro. This is a hilltop park offering stunning views of, of the city skyline and the sparkling Atlantic Ocean. The views from here are just epic. It feels like you're in a movie. It feels like you're in Scotland. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just so beautiful. This is a perfect spot to immerse yourself in nature and enjoy a relaxing afternoon. There are two restaurants in this hilltop one it opens until 4 p.m and the other one it's for dinner time i think it opens at 8 and it is a bit fancy and overpriced but all the cities in galicia are affordable so i'm sure that if you want something fancy this could be a really nice place for you because the views from this place are just spectacular All right, so we are here in La Cervecería La Estrella, which is, I think, the first establishment of Cervecería La Estrella in Galicia. Uh, the brewery, the headquarters. Yeah, it's the headquarters or something like that, so we're gonna try it. This brewery is located in the center of the city in Cuatro Caminos, where the first Estrella Galicia brewery was founded back to 1906. So this is a must-see point in the city that has seen several generations of people from A Coruña pass by. Don't miss it. If you have more tips on where to go and what to do in La Coruña, please share it with the people here. And if there are other places in Galicia that you love, please put them down below in the comments because I want to go back to Galicia and hopefully visit Santiago de Compostela very soon. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have an amazing day. See you soon in another trip.